Introducing Next Gen 15, the new home school up. Well, where does this come from? Covering everything the school game has to offer in both the North and Southern Hemispheres. Oh, Highlighting tomorrow's stars, Next Gen 15 will be bringing you live games and regular updates of all the news and in-depth views on the global game. What's a kick? All your school rugby, all in one place. This is Next Gen 15. Hello and welcome to Broad Street RFC. We are here for Wellington College against Sedba. We're beginning this evening with the second 15 and then we'll be moving on to the big one, the first 15 at six o'clock tonight. But first of all, it's the second 15s. And let me tell you, these are no ordinary second 15 teams. These two are among the very best in the country off their own bats. Broad Street RFC, a wonderful setting for this occasion every single year. And as we look through the Sedba team up front, we've got Cameron Sinclair, Jonathan Hansen, and Tom Roebuck. Tommy Triggs and Miles Cook in the, in the second row and in the back row. The captain, Ben Ogden at blindside, Harry Gras Graswell at seven, and Tom Douglas at number eight. Our halfbacks, Lewis Rayner and Alec Martin. Lewis Rayner is going to be the vice captain this evening and in the centres, James Pert and Harvey Johnson. Back three, Johnny Davies, Finley Kelleher and Wilbur Blackham. On the bench, Thomas Loveday, Kater Ando, Kane James, Michael Broderick, Alec Robinson, Freddie Kennedy and Archie Callahan. That's the Sedba second 15. Over with Wellington, the Dark Knights, they call themselves. And up front in those dark areas, we've got Max Drake, Johnny McFall, Harmon Sanger. And then in the second row, Wilf Morris, Oliver Van Druten and in the back row, Barney Thompson, Tom Taylor and Barnaby White. Their skipper today by the outside half, Sam Daniel. We may see him in the first team game as well. His halfback partner, Charlie Gould. In the centres, Oz Henry and Harrison Hall. And in the back three, Lewis Hughes, Finn Walder and Dan Watson. On the bench, Luke Burke, David Petschek, Ed Cottrell, Noak, uh, Noak Elling Elrington, apologies, George Staveley and Michael Campbell. And the two teams are on the pitch now. Sebra up near halfway, Wellington College underneath their own posts. A 19-all draw last time these two met. That was way back in 2019 in a world pre-COVID. Tonight, though, they resume hostilities. We've had games all afternoon. The Colts have been on in the back pitches. We've got a 
I think an under 15 game on the pitch behind me as I speak. The second 15 though, ready to go on the big pitch, the main pitch here at Broad Street RFC. Of course, where Wasps used to do their training prior to their wonderful new training facility that's been built along the road, not far from famous rugby school as well. This is a hotbed of the game. Sedbra are ready. We await Wellington. They're bouncing underneath their own posts, ready to go. And here they are. One of the great occasions on the school's rugby calendar. Wellington College against Sedbra. It doesn't get much bigger than this. And as I said, this is no ordinary second 15 game. In preparation for this, we were going through the, through the team sheets well in advance. And there's academy players littered throughout both teams. Lots and lots of youngsters. And a lot of players that have pu pulled on that first team shirt throughout the season. And will be doing so again, perhaps even later this evening. All that remains is that we find a ball. You'd have thought someone might have thought of that. Gives me time though to uh, mention a few of the people that have helped us put this together. You can see on the bottom right hand side of your screen today, University of Bristol. A big thanks to them. Joe Goodman, their head of rugby down there. They're playing some really great stuff. Playing just below the Bucks Super League in the, uh, the Bucks Premiership in the south. Top of that league, playing some wonderful rugby. Top academic institution as well. I certainly know more than a, a few good people that have uh, have turned out for the University of Bristol, and I, I would encourage you to go and check them out. Still, we await a ball. Touch judge has arrived. No ball with him. Finally, a ball arrives. Two touch judges, a referee. We're good to go. I think someone told the ref it was a 420 kickoff. Does his final calculations. Counting the numbers. Should be 15 on each side, I think so. He looks happy. We're happy. Captain. Wellington College look happy. Oz Henry ready to kick this game off. <laughs> Hoist it deep. Cleanly caught from Sebba. First carry though spilled. And we'll have a scrum. Right from the start. A nervy start from Sebba. A big start from Wellington College. And an opportunity to get themselves into that 22 nice and early on with a big scrum. Okay, on the five, we'll be fine. Crouch! Bind! John Gould with the put in then. Triathlete in his spare time. Flings it wide. And Wellington College, as they like to do, getting the ball through the hands nice and early. It's a fast brand of rugby that they tend to play. Right from the bottom of the school all the way to the top. Spilled in midfield again, though. Referee playing advantage to Sebbe. No advantage there, lost forward. And perhaps a few signs of the occasion getting to the players, a few early errors. Also a few signs of the dropping temperatures. It is a, a chilly old night here in the Midlands. With yeah, another game fine. to come. There's going to be a few hardy Crouch. souls on the touchlines. Bind! Set! Rainer the skipper. Over the ball at the tail. Take Gets it, it wide despite the attention of, of Gould. He's not on it. He's not on the ball. As said, but looking to play out of their own 22. This is a feature of games between these two that we've seen down the years. Both sides like to play. And Tom Douglas, the number eight, certainly likes to play. Oh, a lovely line. Cameron Sinclair on the charge, but 
scrum advantage. Spilled and contact. <whistles> oh, lovely play there from Sedba. Just couldn't quite hold on to the ball at the end, but fantastic work from Douglas. And then lovely delay on the ball from Alec Martin at fly half. Releasing as loose head Cameron Sinclair. Just couldn't quite get that final pass through. Look at this. Crouch! Douglas shapes to pass Five. and then steps on the afterburners and look Six. at that power. And I'm told Close I'm told that we yeah, might be seeing him later on in the first kicks. 15 game as well. Yeah. Stability. And with that level of power, little wonder. Crouch! Bind! Set! Stay outside nine. Nine, Brian. Stay outside. Ball at the base. It's intercepted. No space quite for Davies to get away. To who? Watson just bobbled about with it a little bit, allowing Davies to make the interception. But the scramble defence came across. Still scrum advantage. Said for shipping it wide. They have got scrum advantage. Four. Referee right. keen to allow them to play this advantage as much as possible, though. Little dart, Rainer. Absolute terrier at the base. Release! Fantastic power from Sedba through the middle when they choose to use it. Oh, lovely pass again. And it's a half break, and now. On to Watson, to Blackburn, sorry. Blackburn into the 22. All offside. Rayner ships it wide. Huge width on the ball. Four black. Douglas gets it wide. Oh, just spilled at the last. Four Referee black. playing advantage though. Offside. For offside in the midfield. Okay, thank you. And our first real Four opening black. in this offside. game. Just couldn't get the ball to stick. It was Blackburn that tore into the 22 and then two big passes Cuts got the ball in. wide. But it Point. just wouldn't quite Point. stick as the ball got right out to that left-hand touchline. And said we're up for points. And as I said, the last time these two played, it was 19 all. Every point is going to count tonight. These games have a history of going right down to the wire. Behind the kicker, please. It's Martin, I think, in the 20 shirt, playing at fly half tonight. Eyeing this one up. Slots it through and said, but have a 3 0 lead. Their first real attack of the game. Yeah, if an advantage, just let me know the colour. Just like brown, gives them a three-point advantage. Not all, I'm out then. From Wellington College. Yeah, you go your game. Looking to come back quickly. Hoist it deep. Gone backwards. Spilled off the Locked kickoff forward. again. That's twice from the kickoff that Zebra have had a bit of trouble. No just a little bit of disorganisation back there. Scrum. Black ball. Tommy Triggs just taking his eye off the ball as it drops down from the skylights above. I'll take the inside. Yeah, don't know. I'll go on the inside. Crouch! Bind! Set! Stay outside, Brian. A solid scrummage from Wellington College. And they'll look to put this wide, I suspect. Through the hands nicely, goes wide. Finn Walder making the bust. And now they go wide again. To the other winger, Lewis Hughes, steps back inside. Carry through the midfield. Back foot. Gould, trying to organise his troops. Coming back hard on the line there is Sanger. The third brother in his family to play, but 
Sedborough turned black. it over. And listen to that roar from Tom Douglas. A huge play in defence. Sanger carried it in. On the assistant referee, and please. Douglas was straight over the top of that ball. Three Wellington College players trying to clear him out. But they could not shift the big number eight. That's the middle, inside foot there. Brian, call your numbers. Seven called, let them react, please, let them react. Let them react. Let's, let's get the call in early so they can get set, please. So our first line out of the game. That's Look at Jonathan Hansen to throw in for Sedba. Yeah, yeah. That'll do, thank you. It's in the thank lower you. sixth, a member of the Sail Sharks Academy as well. Watch for my arm I did tell you there were a fair few Academy players in these sides. But Wellington College have stolen that one. And Gould looks to go wide early. Lovely offload. Terrific stuff from Daniel, the skipper. 12. Daniel stabs it through. Tricky one to deal with this. But Johnny Davis has done fantastically well to beat the first defender and buy himself a bit of time. Eight black, get out of there, eight black. Henry Gresswell with the step there. And okay. said, but oh. this time, do look for the boot. Thank you. Go on, Just going to give Watson a chance to counter. Counter he does, just slipping under the slightly dewy surface. I trotted across it earlier as I uh, made my way from the clubhouse to the commentary box. With plenty of time to spare, it has to be said, at least 90 Close seconds. Advantage. <laughs> Penalty, Wellington College. High, high tackle, just high. a technical one. 17 high. And they point straight to the sticks. They're going to look to level this game up. 17 high. Looks like it's Dan Watson standing over the kick, the fullback. One of several members of this second 15 that um, kicker, please. Thank you. played in Wellington College's 2018 Under-15 Schools Cup triumph. Across both the second 15 and first 15 squad, they are littered with players that shone on the Twickenham surface. Can Watson shine here tonight for the second 15? Nothing. Kick just drifts wide and Sedbro looking to counter. And counter they are. Beating three, four men on the counter attack from underneath their own posts. Look to continue to use the short side. But in that wonderful bit of counter attacking play, I think Olivier Van Druten. Just got a bang on the head in trying to send a flailing arm towards the Sedbra breakaway. Have you? What? Sorry. Over there, yeah. Brilliant. Just about here, yeah. We'll just have a Thank bit you. of a delay while Van Druten is attended to. Give us a chance to talk a bit about how these two teams have been getting on this season. Thank you. Identical records. Both, th both sides have played seven, won six and lost one. Wellington College going down against Millfield. A really tight game, that one. And Sedba's only defeat, actually, is to a first 15, and a good one at that, Mount St Mary's College, who are, are going well in the, uh, in the school's plate. And... Um, Put a, fair, put a fair few points on Sedba second 15, but a fantastic effort from Sedba for the only defeat to be against a first 15 side. They've played some wonderful rugby this year. And a fair few boys who've played in the first 15 as well, and we'll be seeing a lot of them later. And just to go through, I told you earlier that there were a lot of um, 
a lot of first 15 players in uh, yeah, well, and academy I'll, players I'll in these sides. The Across the uh, the said the second 15, there um, are. Let me just count it up for you: one, two, three, four, five Sale Sharks oh, academy oh, players, as well as a Newcastle academy player and a Saracens academy <coughs> player. It's quite astonishing the depth that these kind of sides have. Not to mention, of course. On the bench for said for second 15, Kane James, a Welsh Rugby League under-18 international. So we can expect pr plenty of physicality when Kane gets himself on the field. Wellington College, of course, with plenty of exciting players of their own. Yeah, you, you guys a few things that have stood out to me. I'll, I'll I'm looking forward field. to seeing loosehead Max Maybe Drake you. over the course of this game. So a converted centre. My own position, Which is so always exciting. There's nothing like a prop that used to be a back. They'll uh, they'll play with plenty of flair. <laughs> so three 0 here to Sedbo. A bit of a delay. We've got an injury. If you're just joining us, as the crowd starts to build up, <coughs> this is of course one of the biggest occasions okay, not just good. on the English schools rugby calendar but on the global schools rugby calendar if you didn't know already we've got the first 15 game coming up at six o'clock this evening I'm taking them off. part of a string of live streams here yeah. at next gen 15 yeah. over the course of the next few days can't, oh sorry, apparently you can't come back on. tomorrow we head off to you, Reading Blue Coat to take in their schools bars game no against Bryanston and Next. then on Friday night no, it's off to Hurstbury Point right. College Next for their game against Caterham okay. Okay. Yep. and then on Saturday if you think this one's big Saturday might just be even bigger yeah, in the context your, uh, of this season yeah. Millfield okay. against Clifton okay. College and joining Strong me in the commentary ball. box we're going to have Tom Whiteley no, 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 and no, no, Yoan no, no, no. Lloyd two Bristol Please Bears first team players Yoan Lloyd of course and space. an international for just Wales at the age of just 19 Crouch! We're underway here again at Broad Fine. Street, though. Yeah, Restarting with the scrum. Sedba to put in. Sedba seconds three. Okay. Wellington hold, seconds hold. three. Use. Wellington seconds nil, rather. And off we go. Sedba, as they were, looking to go wide. Spilled in the outside channel. And Watson just stabs it through on his foot. Roll! Fast ball for Wellington College. They take it short. Get out of there. Tom That's Taylor, that was with the charge. And now the rumble around the outside. Jack, release him, release! Back foot. Back foot. Back foot! Hard line and across the line. And Wellington College with the first try of the game. All sparked by the run from Watson off the spilled yes. ball. You can't hear me. A couple of rumbles. Um, can you hear me now? And then it was the open side, Tom Taylor, you. who'd carried early on in the move yeah. and came on a short line okay. to go crashing over. You can see him there just getting up from that ruck, backs away, take their time, and he just gets himself low underneath the defender and across the line for the first try of the game and puts the Dark Knights into the lead. Tom Taylor, the, the defensive linchpin of this Wellington College side, I'm told. And at a charity dinner at Twickenham last weekend as the conversion just drifts wide. Charity dinner that he uh, he helped organise at Twickenham last weekend. He raised over £100,000, so not only a star on the rugby pitch, but a star off it as well. Tom Taylor with the first try of this game. Make sure they're behind you. Your responsibility, Tane. So 5-3 to Wellington College. Said for kickoff. And Taylor high. receives the kickoff, having scored the try. 12. He's tackled high, and Wellington College will have a penalty 12. and a chance to get back into said for territory. Captain, Captain, that's two now, two high tackles, just penalty at the moment, 
If he doesn't stop, it might be something more. Referee just giving Sebra a warning about those creeping high tackles. Nothing malicious in them, really. It's just a bit of a, a technical offence. Black, call your numbers, please. But, of course, Space. crucial you. to be stamped yeah, out of the that's game your mark. as we look to protect Lads, you need to keep going. head and neck. You need to keep going. Wellington College with the step. line out. Johnny McFall yeah. to throw in. And little wonder Charge it's been won. Charge down's good. McFall is a line out expert. Wellington College. Well, the kick, the clearance kick was charged down, but they've instead decided to go wide off the second play. Chip ahead is well covered, and Sebba now with a chance to counter on this on their own. And look at the gas here around the outside from Wilbur Blackburn. And now it's Wellington College. Number. that are punished for the high tackle. Well, what a break Sorry. that was from Wilbur Blackburn on the counter. A little unlucky there at McFall. But the tackle was definitely high. Hey, Alec Martin two. Keep the tackles down, pumps please. the ball Sorry. into Thank the 22. You. Right, inside foot here, please, Black. A chance There's here the for, for Sedbert to get themselves back in front. An attacking Keep line out in the 22. Keep the space for me. Thank you. Hold on, whoa, whoa. This is totally out. Right, you guys take a step. Right, Hold on, just wait, wait. marshalling that line out Come area. In, yeah, it's fine. I'm going to stay here. Yeah. There's Hansen. Prepares to throw in to the front safely. And Sebra are going to look to go wide straight from the set piece. Through the hands it goes, right out to the left wing. Johnny Davis just hauled down short. Back foot! Thundering carry 20 black from Tom offside. Roebuck. 20 black offside. And they're now just a couple of metres shy of the Wellington College try line. It's their advantage. Penalty advantage to Sedba, but they may not need it. A delicious offload. And I think that's Finley Kelleher touching down on the right-hand side. 2.15s on the park. You can't hear me. But Finley Kelleher right. dotting down. Well, they had advantage. So there was no risk in the big, wide, expansive play. Lovely handling from the loose head prop. Cameron Sinclair. The ball goes Five, wide, and look at this for an offload in the tackle. And it's just a simple running in the end for Kelleher. And it didn't take Sedba long at all to strike back, did it? Yeah, I can hear you. A wonderful okay, so response. Just, just keep, you count my uh, uh, Brown penalty. To the Wellington College try. Yeah, and obviously, as I say, two fifteens on the pitch. For Sedba. 5 2. Okay. We'll be Alec, Alec Martin standing over the conversion. Sedba back in the lead, 8 5. And what a kick. No. Oh. I take it back. I thought it was a wonderful kick. Clearly, my eyes deceive me. Well, a brilliant response from Sedba to going behind early on. Yeah, when you're ready, you're going. This time, Sedba claimed the restart, but Wellington College chasing hard and putting in a couple of big hits in response and earning the penalty off those hits. Three, and what a way to respond to conceding a try. Two thunderous tackles and the penalty almost inevitable Three, off the back of them. And Sam Daniel pumps it just inside the 22. 
Numbers? Five. Inside foot there. Let's have you in then, please. Let's have you in. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. Stand the front, man. McFall will throw in. Yeah, cool. Wolf Morris now, the uh, the senior second row. But it's claimed by Sedba. There's a, there's a that man, Douglas, makes a bit of ground, crucial ground in this area of the field. Sedba, look at this though, want to play everywhere and why not? Another brilliant surge through midfield. Advantage, no. Referee, oh, has advantage gone or has it not? We're not quite sure here. Advantage is over now. The Sedba have just retained possession there. Yeah. Martin thumps it long. Right. And Watson looks to counter, moves it infield. Daniel, lovely handling once again. The delay on that pass. Daniel, another of those players that we're likely to see in first 15 colours. Straight off your feet. No but Wellington College in their efforts to secure quick ball go off their feet. And Sedba earned the penalty. Straight off his feet. It was good bouncing, weaving play good from shot. George Stavley, but sadly to no avail. And Sedba's hold, penalty hold, doesn't hold. quite make touch, giving Wellington College the chance to clear. But Sedba are going to enjoy this. Another chance to get on the counter-attack. Oh, and lovely break from Pert. Oh, no. Just weaving no. through that midfield channel, but now his opposite number, Oz Henry, is on the attack. And we'll see what Wellington College can do with a bit of fast ball. Daniel sticks it high. The space behind the defence. Difficult one to deal with. Back, yeah. Johnny Davis just grabs it. Under all sorts of pressure Pockets. as Wellington come flooding through. Back foot. Use! Advantage. Yeah, it's fine. Box kick clear. Watson looks to counter. Beats the first man. Thumping hit though from the second. And another penalty on the floor. 15 a second time. Barney Thompson, I think, there. Getting his hands on the ball. Wouldn't allow Watson to move. Apologies, Barney Thompson is wearing six for Wellington. Ben Ogden, the skipper, I think, was over that for Sedba. What's the penalty count at now for Black? Yeah, three. Six three. Clearly starting to feel that Wellington College are giving away a too many like having inside penalties foot there, right please. Now. Lads, I want you in. Let's get the lot in and get the line set. Lads, in. Said, so, but to the tail, but it's just a bit long. Ball bouncing around. Lost forward in the line out. The referee judges that it went forward in the line out. Okay. Scrum. Flat ball. And we will have another scrum. A few changes already around, around the field. And stability. I'm sure many of you regular viewers will know all about the half game rule. So you tend to see a lot of substitutions right throughout the game as each player gets their Bind! minimum of half a game Set! in every game. Used to, I'll stop pulling each other down. I'll just ask you to go along, OK? Yeah, I'll let you. A great law for the players. Lads, square up, please. A Back nightmare law if you're a commentator square. trying to keep up with all the changes, there, though. You. Stay square, but stability. Hey, I remember my space. We're not the ones Crouch! to answer. All about these young Bye. men getting their opportunity on the field. Set! Onside you, onside, onside nine. Superb work at the base of the scrum from Lewis Rayner. And it allows Sedba the chance to have a go at a counter attack, but they kick long. Watson evades the first man who came in feet first almost. Chips over the top. Ball skidding and bouncing, it's a difficult one. 
Lovely feet from Blackburn. Fast forward. Fast forward. Play it, play it, play it, play it. Fast forward. Not you, the other person. He went to kick it, he missed it. Fast forward. Well, it's a feature Scrum. of the evening so Blackboard. far as the expansive play of Wellington College fullback Dan Watson. There's your mark. Time and time again, he's been looking to counter attack. There's some lovely footwork from his opposite number. Wilbur Blackburn as well. Seven seconds in, please. Stay square, both front rows. Shoulders back, outside shoulder back, thank you. Crouch! Bind! Set! No! 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 Reset, please. Well, the last scrum, we saw Lewis Rayner just get his hand in as Gould was about to pass it, forcing the yeah, turnover. Keep tight, so keep an eye on those two place. number nines just in their battle at scrum busy. time. His shoulder back. They're managing to get a bit of uh, a you. bit of joy Crouch! out of sniping and snaffling Bind! around each other. Set! This time Rayner can't get close to it though. It goes down the inside channel. Okay, nine. Right, you're on side. You're on side. Launches it long. Lads, don't do it. Don't do it, lads. Oi. Allowing Blackburn the chance to counter. And counter he does. Ships not the ball wide, having beaten the man not there. through the hands, but it's just spilled in contact again. Now Wellington College with their chance to counter. Harrison Hall. Still scrum advantage. Well, it took a fair number to bring him down. Back foot. Vantage over! You, 12 hold, 12 hold. Finding space from Watson there. Blackburn's back though. Brand Sends a retire. long kick retire. down. Delightfully yeah, controlled yeah. from Gould on the foot. Wellington looking to keep this expansive counter-attacking game going. It's breathless stuff. Yeah. Well, College looking to go wide again. Henry ships it. And now in space, it's Lewis Hughes. Oh, steps in. Can he weave his way all the way to the try line? Can he weave his way? No, he can't. He's just held up. Penalty. High tackle. But we come back for the penalty for the high tackle. And Lewis Hughes. Hi. Well, I thought he was going to take the outside, but he stepped in twice, and suddenly it was like the Red Sea had parted for him. As well into college, go quickly. And it's number eight. Barnaby White, I think, was underneath that. Quick thinking from Wellington College. The penalty for the high tackle. And you see it here. Daniel spots the opportunity, shifts it out to his number eight, Barney White, Barnaby White. And a lovely place. finish, actually, as the tackle That's came in. It was almost as if there was nowhere for the ball to go. So the big man just simply leaned over the top and dotted it down. Yeah. A lovely bit of finishing from Barnaby White. I'm told that Barnaby White is a uh, fan of the pre the pre-game music. Likes to be in charge of that. Described to me as grime. Very popular among the youth, I'm told. as Watson sends the conversion over. Wellington Back. College, 12-8 in front. Captain, third high tackle there. Nice. It's just a penalty, more a technical offence, but it's too high, actually third one now. Well, but this game is to and throwing. The referee He's having a chat about high so tackles. Sure about my expectation. But the game is going back and forth, extraordinarily so. Two tries for Wellington, one for Sedba, giving Wellington College a 12-8 lead. And it's been frantic hey, stuff. White with a big carry. 
Wellington College's ambition untamed. They still want to keep going wide. Switch the point of attack now. A huge tackle on Taylor. Now they send it long. And that's going to give Thank that man you. Blackburn another chance to have a counter. Retire, Dinks it over the top of space, but Taylor has gathered it like any good open side, spotting where the gap was. Wait, uh, wait. No. Offside in the 10. Over in the offside in the 10 metres. Offside in the 10. And the referee not quite happy with the way he said, but didn't quite retreat once the kick went up. It's not enough just to sort of actively slow down. You have to stop and retreat. Being enforced much more this season than it has been in previous years. And a few boys still getting used to it. Right, wait, please, wait. Inside foot, numbers. Lo six. Give me that space. The long oh, shot of it all is. Oh, you can come up a bit. Wellington College send the penalty deep into Sedba territory. Can they eke out another score before the halftime break? More! More! Goes to the tail and Barney hey, Thompson. Brian, don't change your primary bind. Okay, the ball's available. Clean ball for Gould. White on the charge. White, could he be through for a second? Steps inside, under the posts. Barnaby White collects his second try in about two minutes. A lovely delay on the, path from, on the pass from the skipper, Sam Daniel. And White, with a wiggle of the hips, made his way through. Gould puts it on a plate and Daniel just waits and waits and then it goes. And look at this, a handoff and then just a little shimmy of the hips from Daniel, from White. And there it is. Second try of the game for him. Third for Wellington College. And they are going to go into the halftime break with a commanding lead. <whistles> and Watson lands the conversion. Yeah, well, I'll call that now. <whistles> to give Wellington College a 19 8 lead at the half-time break. Referee calling time. A little on the early side, I think. OK, have you got that? But I don't think either side will be too unhappy with that. Wellington College yeah, going into half-time, 19-8 up. What a fantastic me. last couple of minutes for them. Any good? Yeah, sorry, I keep, must keep knocking. I must get here. So as we look back at those tries, the first try from Wellington College was a bit of a beauty, having gone 3-0 down with the penalty. Bit of a rumble from the forwards, my kind of try. And it was the open side. Tom Taylor just backs away. You can see him on the right-hand side of your screen, backing away, gives himself a run-up. And on he comes, on the charge, too much power, gets nice and low. And across the line, and that gave Wellington College a 5-3 lead. They'd been 3-0 down, having conceded a penalty, and they've been a bit of a feature of this game so far. A few penalties. And Sedba got back on the score sheet nice and early. They had penalty advantage, and tell you what, they knew how to use it. The big man, Cameron Sinclair, getting the ball away. And look at this for an offload, out the back, on the run. And Blackburn, with the easiest of finishes, dots it down. And what a half he's had. Some wonderful counter-attacking rugby from the Sedba, the Sedba School fullback. Wellington College, though, got themselves back in front with a bit of smart thinking from skipper Sam Daniel. Off to his number eight. And look at this finish. Leaning up. Oh, just dot it down over the top. Why not? That was the first of two tries for Barnaby White, the number eight. Who we hadn't seen that much of before. 
But I'll tell you what, we want to see more of him, don't we? What a fantastic player he's looking like tonight. What's Look at the delay here line? from Daniel. Black. That combination working again. Seven, and four, White seven, streaking four, away. Four, Late seven, shimmy of the hips. There's nothing that bang. Blackburn can do about it. Bang. Second try of the night for him. Third for his team. High tackles. Keep him down. Four more warnings. And with Next Watson sending over the conversion, that sent Wellington College into the halftime break. 19-8 up. And what a fantastic first half that has been. And of course, coming up after the halftime break, the second half, and then we're into the big, big meet of this evening, aren't we? Six o'clock kickoff. Wellington College, first 15 against Sedba, first 15. One of the biggest games in all of schoolboy rugby. Not just here in the UK, but around the world. This is one that everyone knows about. Yeah. For these boys, though, that's nothing but the secondary event. Okay, I've, I've asked him to set the line out. Oh, please look like that. Thank you. Yeah. So, here we go. The two teams change ends. We're almost ready for the second half here at Broad Street RFC. Scene of so many schoolboy dramatic evenings. Once upon a time, played host to the Daily Mail Cup as it was back then, the semi final stage of that. In recent times, the big event here has always been about Sipper versus Wellington. Almost ready. The referee just counting his numbers up. Wait, please. Captain! Ready? Yeah. We have a few substitutions, including, by the looks of things, a new fly half for Sedba. Sadly, wearing the old fly half shirt. Yeah, we want this one. Yeah, yeah, I've got it. And it's Wellington College. On the counter, very quickly, ball spilled from Sedba and Wellington College come flooding through. Daniel stabs it along. There's space down there. It's into the 22. A huge aggression and power right from the kickoff from Wellington College here. Thank you. At the beginning of this second half. Black, if you can have an inside foot here. Daniel. Sending Back. the high ball, it's a 16. tough one to take. Inside foot there. And the players just right. come flooding through from Wellington space. College. Huge pressure on the side but catches. Option please. Scrub. Outside arm, not straight. Ball not quite straight there, so we'll come back for a scrum. Giving Thank Wellington you. College a huge attacking platform to kick this second half off with. Crouch! Huge Bye. depth here from Wellington College. Set. Oh, no. Scrum on the 22, oh, no. furthest away back, back, back is inside his own two. half. Brown. But said we get the nudge on. Just forces them to take a stab, but Wellington College will still go wide. Watson manages to get the pass away. It loops up a bit. Still Wellington College on the front foot. Big clear out, though, from Sedba. Buys themselves some time to organise the defence. But the skipper, Thompson, is there for Wellington College. 21 Browning! Strong defence from Sedba. Not Brown. rolling away though, and it's a penalty. Wellington College and a chance Brown, to extend that Austin advantage. Movement, and Daniel, under no illusions, he's going for points. Pardon? Watson will be the man to kick, but Daniel, the man to make the call. And it's a tricky one there. Thomas Loveday was on his back, trying to roll away, but just couldn't do it fast enough. Oh, 
Watson pushes Wellington College out to 22-8 ahead. Well, I was worried about jinxing this one and saying we might be heading for another 19-all draw. But with those first points, it's 21-8. And it's Wellington College starting the second half as they ended the first. Yeah, when you're ready. Black, 16, black, hold! Well cleared by Wellington. Is it got into, we are yeah. really starting to play quite a commanding game now. Using the boot a bit more than in the first half. Thank you. Playing their way around the field. Knowing that with this advantage, a Black, bit of territory of paintwork, please, Black. will do them well. Just off the edge of the paintwork, right? Numbers. Free kick, Wellington delay on the put in. Sort your line out, fellas. Sort your line out, out. Scrum. And Wellington College go for the scrum on halfway. Clear call, get your numbers in so they can get set and I don't have to get involved. Referee telling us Edward to sort their line out now. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, God. Crouch! Keep that space. Bind! Set! Scrum Wellington. Will White go from the base as a big blindside and the wing is deep. Stay, stay back, stay bound. Instead, they go open. Daniel. Shapes to kick and then passes wide. Just goes to ground, but Watson evades the first man and the second, gets his offload away as well. Out you, 12, Brown. Stay outside. Watson, a real influence in this game so far. Out, Brown. Out, Brown. Burke with a big carry. Daniel stabs it through. Difficult one to pick up. <laughs> and Sam Out, Daniel. Brown. He's really Brown. starting to have a big influence on this game. He was playing under advantage there. Just used the opportunity to stab a little kick through. Caused all sorts of problems. Knowing that he could come back for the penalty. And this time, Henry's going to go to the corner. And Wellington College starting to just turn the screw a little bit in the second half. You sit there for me. Numbers, please. Five. Have we got a hooker in that channel. Thank you. Not four. No. Eyes up the throw. See the tail. And now I suspect Wellington College will look to go wide. And they do. Henry on the carry from deep. Back the same way. Daniel puts it wide. Stepping inside one way and the other. The space is starting to open up for Wellington College. The back foot, thank you. Playing from one side of the pitch right the way across to the other. Daniel pulling the strings, allows Watson to get it away. And over in the corner goes Dan Walder, Finn Walder rather. Thank you. Daniel and Watson combining and leaving Walder with a clean run through to the line. Daniel just flashes it across the defence. The delay from Watson. And Walder strolled towards the line and just checked back in at the last to avoid being taken towards the touch line. And that's a fourth try from Wellington College. Well, I said... They were starting to turn the screw in this second half. They are really turning it hard now. Excellent play from the Berkshire men. Moving the ball fully from one side of the pitch right across to the other. And eventually those numbers had to tell, but the work off the ball of Daniel to get round, get his hands through the ball was superb. And Watson just adds the icing on the cake the ball clipping the post and turning back inside 
And that puts Wellington College 28-8 ahead. A long road back for Sedbird, but as I've said from the beginning, this game always produces some drama. Do not be surprised if the Cumbrians come charging back at some point. Thompson with a brilliant take. Six but Sedbert get their Six hands black. on the ball as he on comes the line, to the floor. Please, fellows, you've been asked on the line. Six black. And that's exactly what I was talking about. Just there. Do not write Sedbert off. A huge contest in the air. And you see the release as Thompson hits the deck. It's close, but it just happens. And Sedbert able to earn the penalty yeah. and put the ball Black, six or seven metres away please. from the Wellington College try line. Looking Thank to you. strike straight back. On her, on her. Lads, oh, if you're not involved in the line out, I want you on the try line. Call it I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Win the ball. It's a little scrappy as it gets to the back line, though. And Wellington College come flooding through. Sedbert retained possession, though. But again, it's scrappy and loose. And now they're all the way back on the halfway line. Having been almost on the try line, but perhaps it won't matter. Delicious running from Johnny Davis down the left wing, but he's turned over in the end. And now Wellington College with the chance to counter. It's back and forth here at Broad Street RFC. On side. Daniel brings a bit of calm to proceedings as he stabs it through into the space and off the field. The young fly half is really starting to manage this game fantastically well. Thank you. Just there. And a bit of game management Thank allows you. me a chance to talk about another of our partners over the course of the season. On. Coach hold Logic. On, let them react, please. Our Let analysis them react. partners who will be loving the way that Sam Daniel is managing this game, producing a real template for his side to work off. Back foot, As said, back foot, back foot. just about secure the line out. A big bullocking run in midfield there from Miles Cook. That's the sort of passion this side need for the next few minutes as they look to get back into this game. Shifting the ball wide, Blackburn. A threat in the first half. Can he be again so in the second half? The Wellington College defence is up Back so play. fast every time at the moment. Feeding off each other's energy. But there he goes again. That man Cook bobbing and weaving, playing like a centre rather than the second row that he is. And Sedba. Oh, it's spilled at the last. And Davison. No. Called back. One hand. Okay. It's a penalty. He went for the intercept. One handed. That's why the ball was spilled. And I thought that Sam Daniel was One away hand. there. No effort to gather that. Really good play from Sedba, though. The first time, really, for a while that they've managed to string a few phases together. Some really direct, emotional oh, running, oh, really, it has to be said. Real fierce venom in the eyes as they look to make some ground. And by stringing a few phases together and running hard, they've earned themselves that penalty and a chance to attack again from the 22. Can they just make it a bit tidier than the Thank last you. time they inside were up foot. here? Inside foot. Whoa, inside foot there. We've seen what they can inside do foot. if Space. they can get that consistent Space. possession together. Space that goes down the middle. Line out secured. They're going to go wide early by the looks of things here. Out the back. And onto that danger man on the wing, Johnny Davis. Beats the first man, comes back for a bit more. Two men, three men trying to haul him down. Now it's wide as midfield, but almost passing it too wide at the moment, said Bert, making it difficult to avoid that Wellington College defence, but it's a big, big carry through the midfield in, in any case. And now they have advantage. 12, never supporting your own body weight. Oz Henry just right, off his feet. Yeah. 12 black, body weight. Well, said, but perhaps being just a bit too ambitious at times. 
with their passing width. It's allowing Wellington College to get right up in the midfield, asking a lot of themselves. Line to the middle. But what a carry it was from the new number eight. Line to the middle. Tom Douglas has come off. He's having a rest before the first 15 game later on. But the man replacing him showing no signs of any sort of weaker carrying at all. Fantastic work. And there they go, wide again. Outside. Option, please. Line out astray, though. Scrum. And Wellington College will have the scrum. We play 14 minutes. About 20 minutes left. Scrum. That ball. Yeah, yeah. Not straight. I'm going to go to the inside. He needs to be onside if he kicks this ball, please. Lads, behind the kicker if he plays it. Stay square, please. Crouch! Boom! Just been really difficult for Sedbra, it seems, when they've had these uh, attacking opportunities no. to capitalise on them. But Wellington College going running from a scrum on their own five metre line. And why not? The space is opening up. Bobbing and weaving, running on the left wing. Back foot, back foot. And now they look to clear through the boot of Daniel. Black, hold, hold black. Sends it long. Very, very long. Longer than Wilbur Blackburn was expecting. But the speedster at fullback is eyeing up the field. Can he beat the first man? No, not quite. Two men get there, but his support's there with him. On the charge. Once again, the replacement number eight. I think it might actually be Ogden that's moved into the number eight shirt. No advantage. Offside in front of the kicker. We come back for the penalty, and it's one of those that we saw in the first half. Loads of people. With the players not retreating behind the kicker. And we are going to come a long, long, long Nine. way back Nine for that penalty. Nine. Because Daniel's just kick just the, uh, yeah. started back, just outside his own Nine 22. Offside in front of that kicker. And Thank Charlie you. Gould didn't retreat. And from being in a bit of trouble in their own 22, Sedba have Hooker. the opportunity to construct an attack from deep inside the Wellington College 22. This is their third opportunity in the last 10 minutes or so. The first two have been wasted rather. Can they make use of this one? Keep the space. Thank you, Black. Hold it. Ball goes long, but it's recovered. The Wellington College defence, I don't know if you can hear it coming across on your screens, but they are just chattering away. The aggression levels are at the maximum and it's yielded a turnover. Barney Thompson now with the ball. It's gone backwards. Spills it, but it goes back. Flashed across the front. Advantage over. From Henry. Hammer! And the big man. It's not our pitch, not our pitch. Forward. Daniel, a judge to have passed it forward. forward. Well, once again, with an attacking platform, Sedba couldn't quite make use. The Wellington College defence just up so fast. As a yes, ball from the pitch behind just about takes yes, us all yes. out here make in the commentary good. booth. But once again, Sedba couldn't quite capitalise. Wellington College, break away. And Daniel, well, you can see by the line on the pitch that that one just drifted forward. But Sedba again with an opportunity. Both sides of the pitch available to attack. They've loaded this left-hand side. Up, Just 
the near the side on your screen. Yeah, I'll give you the instructions. But is it a dummy to allow them to take up that huge blind side? Crouch! Boom! Set! Stand aside, Black Knight. They do go blind. Fast hand suit right out to the wing. But again, it's a big, big pass, and it's allowing the Wellington yeah. College defence to get up early. Back. Still advantage. And now they have the chance to counter. They have got scrum advantage. And Watson darting around, looking for the space. Stay at the back foot, please. Advantage over! Daniel, as he has been all second Still half. Outside. Just playing the percentage game, knocking the ball deep into Sedba territory. And his team flood up behind him. But it's lovely work from Sedba on the counter. Three men in a delicious offload. And now they're on. Well held not to give the offload that time, but now ripped away in contact from Wellington College. Release! Well, it's Helter Skelter in this passage of play. A huge tackle coming in from Sedba. Daniel does what Daniel has been doing, prods it back. But the referee calls time. There are bodies littered everywhere after a frantic passage of play. Pardon? Yeah. Do you see anything with that? Yeah, no foul play. Both teams willing to give it a go from anywhere. Creating some frantic play as we see a few of the younger teams up there in the stands getting their food on after some tough encounters earlier on today. Looking forward to a bit of, bit of that Broad Street food later on this evening myself, if things go well. The crowd building ahead of that first 15 game at six o'clock tonight. Stay with us on our YouTube channel to watch that game. First of a number over the next few days. Heading to Reading Bluecoat against Bryanston in the school's yeah. vast tomorrow. Hurstville Point College against Caterham Tell on Friday on night. Then. And then it's down to Somerset for right. Millfield against Clifton College on Saturday scrum. afternoon. And potentially an interview black, black with one of rugby's greatest. Let's go, There's your mark. Back underway here at Broad Street, though, with a scrum. Wellington College to put in. 29-8 in the lead. Time is ticking for Sedba Set. if they're to come back in this game. The scrum no, goes just down. A no, no, just a slip. Just and a, a slip. long blast of the whistle I thought bit. was going to yield a penalty one way or the other. The Before referee right, judges right, it yep. as just a slip. Cameron Sinclair there on the loose head. For said for school. Crouch! Bone! Up against him, Armin Sanger. As I said earlier, the third of his family to play for Wellington College. And he earns his side a penalty as Sinclair comes around the outside on him. Referee wise to him stepping out. And Oz Henry thumps the resulting penalty into the 22. And we see here Sinclair, Inside. his Inside hips there, point please. out and he drives around the Thank outside you. and Numbers, the referee Six. Let not them having any Six, of that. Please. Let Brian five, don't close the gap. That's generous. 
Okay, that's your Tough one on Sinclair, that. I suspect he's probably not come across too many referees so far this season that would have noticed that little bit of dark arts from him there. Here we are, superb three-person refereeing team tonight. These are the things that get spotted. Said, but looking to go from their own 22, as they have done all night. Intricate play, couple of offloads, and fast ball. And they have the penalty advantage. They'll look to use it. Going wide, it's plucked by Daniel. 10, no clear tackle, release. Wait, 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 please. Alan, Alan. Here, please. Okay, 10 black, no clear tackle, release. Chris, who's playing with two scrub, two scrub hearts, eh? Okay. That's not ball. Black. Ball doesn't go. Daniel with a chance to launch a, a counter attack. Watson gets the call to move it wide. Bouncing around here, Wellington College. Daniel darts and weaves, goes to ground. That's that man McFall on the carry. Earns the side of penalty. Eight Brown. Not supporting your own body weight. Go for post. Sticks. Hey, Brown. So Watson with the penalty for Wellington College. And at 29-8, this really would be what starts to feel like a big nail in the coffin. Yeah, Danny. Yeah, Danny. Yeah, Danny. He has the legs. That's a huge kick from Dan Watson for Wellington College. Big high five from his mates, and why not? Puts his side 32-8 in front. Just about an hour gone in this game. Ten minutes left to play. The road ahead looks tough for Sedba. A high hanging kickoff claimed by Wolf Morris. And on to that man, Sanger. Big, big carry from him. You. The darting and weaving from the try scorer, Finn Walder. And Wellington College really turning on the momentum now. The shackles are off. Gould dancing, looking for the offload. Doesn't quite get it, spills it on the floor. And said, but where I think we, we can be sure we're going to see them Try some things, and they do there with the offload. John backwards. Superb clear out. As Wellington College came charging over the top. Said, but though again, the ball just not going to hand. And now they've got to work their way back up from the halfway line. You were the tackler, fella. Clear cut tackle release, please. 19 black. Penalty said, but. Wellington, no clear release. Black, clear but it feels a bit like the story of the night for Sedba so far. A promising attacking position, but the ball doesn't go to hand. They lose yards. But they have the penalty. The ball is in the Wellington College 22. Okay. And a big chance here for Sedba to get on the score sheet for the first time in this Numbers second half. Moves. They've had opportunities, but time and time again, Brown, they've just not quite worked two. out. Clean line out. Once again, a big, wide, looping pass off it. But this time it goes to hand. Second pass After bounces, that. but it sits up yeah. wonderfully well for Kelleher. Gets the offload away. Now Sedbury yeah, just yards from the Wellington College try line. 
through the hands. Lovely work. Offload City now for Sedford, but once again, the ball not quite to hand. This time there are men in support, though. Gets it wide. Oh, and the final pass won't go to hand. But we will come back for the penalty. And the referee wants a chat. We played 28 and a half minutes. So that's six minutes after this. That's six minutes, yeah. And according to the referee, six minutes left in this game. He's just slightly ahead of our game clock. As we just pause, I think we've come back for another injury. One of a couple. And we'll originally come back for that offside once the injury is dealt with. Well, what a fantastic performance it's been from Wellington College, particularly in this second half. Played with a real level of control to go alongside their four tries. They lead 32 points to eight. Six minutes left on the clock, as we've just heard from the referee. And it is looking like a momentum building win for Wellington College ahead of that big game coming up at six o'clock. There's the two first 15s, Wellington College and Sedba go head to head here at Broad Street. A crucial game every single year. This year, just as much as any. Sedba, of course, top of the Daily Mail trophy at that first team level. As they go for the penalty, they've tapped it, spilled in contact. The ball comes back on their side. Big, big carry. Sinclair, he's had a big game as the loose head prop. So burrowing for the try line. Penalty advantage. Penalty advantage, Wellington, but they may not need it. No, they don't. Sedba, cross the whitewash. We've got a fresh person in the number eight shirt. I think it might be the skipper, Ben Ogden, who was wearing six yeah. earlier. Either way, it's a crucial try for Sedba. Uh, as they look minutes. to regain just a bit of that spark they had earlier on. They were burrowing near, they had penalty advantage. And if it is that man, Ogden, it was a smart bit of play as he drifted from the blind side to the open side, saw the mismatch with the scrum half, Charlie Gould. And with that size differential, there's not a lot you go when you're ready, young man. that the Wellington College scrum half could do about that one. And Wellington College with a superb high hanging kickoff. Always difficult to read. Brown, take the line, please. Brown, take the line. Numbers through these floodlights, giving Wellington College the line out on the 22. Said but converted that try. You take a step, please, Black. Thank you. So the Wellington College lead is narrowed to 32 15. A handful of minutes left. The comeback looking unlikely, but we've seen some strange things at this ground before, haven't we? And with a thundering tackle like that in the midfield, perhaps Sedba do feel there's still a little bit of something left for them in this game. Wellington College, though, doing their best to disprove that as they break the line. Delicious handling for the two try scoring. Barnaby White at number eight for Wellington College. Oz Henry is intercepted. One brown. Oh, and an offside side entry, One rather. Side entry off your feet. In midfield. Well, for just a split second there. Side. I think we all thought that Kelleher was away. And this comeback that nobody expected, the given the size of the score, might just <laughs> have been on. All right. And Sinclair just adjudged to have come in from the side and Keller's eyes lit up. There's no greater sight as a winger, is there, than catching the ball and seeing the open field in front of you, as it is. Dan Watson has a penalty in front of the posts that will put Wellington College 20 points clear of Sedba. 
Strikes the post though, bouncing ball. Anybody's opportunity. And it's Sedba, Sedba that claim it. Looking wide, Kelleher forces it inside. Now gets the offload back. Stays in field well. Delicious handling from Sedba. Looking to go big and wide, but that Wellington College defence is up. But they may not need to worry about that. Breaking through the line. Lovely pass, controlled on the foot from Pert. Wellington College just tidy up, but there's a chance for Sedba to counter again. Time running out. They need to score almost immediately. And they're looking to do exactly that as they break away down this right-hand touchline. Kelleher again. He's been involved over and over again in this last couple of minutes. But he's taken into touch. Wellington College will have the line out. And that might just about be that. Can you hear me? No. But we may come back for a penalty as we listen in on the referee's mic there. Three and six. Black might have been offside. So said Burr. We'll have the penalty. Three, six, black. Probably not enough time for them to make the full comeback, but certainly enough time to show a fair bit of pride. James Pert thumps it towards the corner. Last play. And this Wait. will be the last play. Can Wait, Sedba please. finish things off Wait. with a try? Inside foot there. Wellington Six. College will win this game. The question now, with this being the last play, is by how much? Six black, don't close the space. Six black. Clean ball for Sedba, but it bounces off the top now. Again, it bobbles in midfield, but a thunderous carry. Gets them back on the front foot. Pert out to this dangerous left winger, Johnny Davis. But the ball's into touch. The game is over. And Wellington College have beaten Sedba 32-15 in this second 15 game. And look at the celebrations. That is a huge result for Wellington College. A fantastic performance. Full of verve and attacking play in the first half as some of the boys cramp up through the exuberance of their celebrations. And in the second half, it was all about control. Fly half Sam Daniel managing the game fantastically well throughout the bulk of it. Came off with a little while to go because he's going to be on the bench for the first 15. And having seen the way he controlled the game in that second half, little wonder he's going to have that opportunity. Sedba, for their part, played some good rugby, really ambitious stuff, looking to attack from everywhere. For them, it was just about some of those big passes when they had the attacking opportunities in the Wellington College 22. They just couldn't quite string them together. And that ultimately proved costly. But there were some wonderful tries from both sides through this game, as well as some big forward plays. We saw this from Sedba. Blackburn it was, finishing off on the right wing. And look at the offload to him, that's lovely. And at that stage, we thought Sedba might have the run on this game. As it was, Wellington College were to come bouncing back. And in some fashion, Sam Daniel, Quick thinking here from the penalty to put away his number eight, Barnaby White, who showed good power and then wonderful dexterity to get the ball over the line. That put Wellington College back in front, and from that moment on, they did not look back. Some big power from Sedba, but again, it was that combination, Daniel and then White, and the shimmy of the hips took him past Blackburn at fullback for his second try of the game. And at that point, 
Wellington College were playing with irresistible momentum. Pick of the bunch, this one. A well-worked score. Daniel onto Watson, onto Waldo to finish in the corner. That came after a long passage of play from Wellington College that had seen them cover the full width of the pitch a couple of times. But Sedba weren't to be outdone, getting the final score of the game through their captain, Ben Ogden, who really stood up as things were getting difficult for his side. A tidy bit of finishing. At that point, he believed, but unfortunately for Sedba, time was to run out. Wellington College, a wonderful performance. Attacking, exciting rugby in that first half. And then the control brought by Sam Daniel in the second half really helped to seal off a superb win for Wellington College. 32-15 against Sedbra in this second 15 game. Stay with us on the Next Gen 15 YouTube channel. We will be bringing you live at 6 o'clock the first 15 game. Wellington College against Sedbra. It is not to be missed. Always a thriller. Finishes here in the second 15. Sedbra 15. Wellington College. 32.